Hello, and welcome to our tutorial on WSO2 API Cloud, the fastest way to publish your APIs on the Internet. WSO2 API Cloud allows you to create multiple versions of APIs and move them through various stages of their life cycle. In the previous tutorials, we have created and subscribed to the Phones API. Now, let us create version 2.0 of that API. We copy the existing version 1.0 to 2.0 and then open 2.0 for editing. Version 2.0 will get a wonderful red icon. We will no longer require the license key parameter and will add an additional optional parameter called zip code. On the implementation step, we could have gone all the way to provide a new implementation backend. However, let us suppose that it is not ready yet and we only have a prototype that we would like to share to collect feedback. Prototypes can be implemented in JavaScript right in this UI, or we can provide a URL for a backend implementation. Let's put together a quick prototype and publish it. Back in the API store, we can see that version 1.0 is still the only one listed as the production API, but if we go to the prototyped API section, we will see the newly deployed prototype of version 2 is available there. And sure enough, this new version has the new zip code parameter instead of the old license key. Users can try our prototype and provide feedback. Now, suppose it is ready to become the official new version of the API. We go back to the API and now finish the implementation wizard to publish it. When a new version of an existing API gets published, the earlier version gets automatically deprecated and is no longer displayed in the store. It now only shows version 2.0. All new subscribers can only subscribe to the new version. However, existing earlier customers can keep using the old version to which they are subscribed. You can monitor the usage with statistics reports in API Cloud, including subscribers split by versions and last access time to each of the versions. At some point, we decide that it is no longer worth supporting the old version. We simply go to the Lifecycle tab of the API and change its state to Retired. Now the API is marked as retired, even for the earlier subscribers, and no one can invoke it anymore. In this tutorial, we saw the full life cycle of APIs in WSO2 API Cloud from creation to prototyping, publishing, deprecation, and retirement. To learn more and sign up for WSO2 API Cloud, go to wso2.com forward slash cloud.